How you doing, YouTube family, man? Ant-Man here back with another video. And I want to tell you this straight up from the rip. All right, I want to tell you this straight up. At least about half of the people you tell your business to, I'm talking about your online business, when you let your family know, when you let your closest friends know. And these people are nine times out of 10, if not 10 times out of 10, very unfamiliar with, the, with that method of making money. Because at the end of the day, people are not uh, 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 keen or used to someone actually doing something on their own for themselves. They're used to putting money in other companies' pockets and working for somebody else. Nine times out of ten, people are not used to uh, 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 online marketers or business success coaches and whatnot that work solely from the comfort of their home or supplement their income while holding a job. Okay? It is not your job to convince somebody that this is for them. This is not your job, all right, to, uh, 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 well, you know what? You shouldn't get upset when someone says, oh, well, this is not for me. Oh, I thought it was like this, but unfortunately it's not. I'm going to have to move on. That's life, guys. That's life, all right? People get hit with hardships. They, get, they, they fail multiple times, and then they get discouraged. And then they go looking for employment, you know, they go filling out those applications, you know, they uh, doubt themselves that they can actually uh, invest in another business and actually be successful. OK, now it comes out of 10. Sometimes it's not the sponsor or the mentor that you signed up with. It's more so of you not knowing uh, it's actually you not doing what you're supposed to be doing. OK, people give up too quickly these days and then they like to play the blame game. OK. Let, 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 let's let's blame Billy over there. Uh, uh, he didn't help me. Let's let's blame Jackie over there. She wasn't around when I needed her. OK, you have to understand. OK, building a business takes time, guys. Why do you think we say 60 to 90 days? Is it very quickly? Is that quick compared to a brick and mortar business? Oh, yes, you better believe it. But you're going to have to put at least two to three months driven into your business, period, guys. All right. You're going to have to do that in order to really be successful and really know what's going on. Now, it's not like it's like some simple little software or something like that. You could just drive traffic to the software. No, it's not something like that. When you have a full blown digital franchise business online where you are selling products, OK, you are offering products. It's the same thing. I don't care what nobody got to say. When you are a digital franchise business professional online, when you're an online marketer, OK, you get commissions, you get sales. What are commissions? Money. What are sales? Money. So you are basically a salesperson, OK? People don't want to say it. You are an independent business owner. You work for yourself, but you only make money when a deal is closed. When someone pays you via credit card, cash, check, PayPal, whatever, OK? Understand. Understand, though. Understand that everybody is not going to care what you are doing. Sometimes it's not your blueprint. It's the people that you are getting in contact with. Stop contacting your Uncle Willie knowing that this man don't even know nothing about what's going on outside. Don't contact uh, 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 someone that's uh, in dentistry and they have, um, they have way too much work on their hands. They're not going to have that much time to really invest into a business. You need to be seeking those that are business opportunity seekers. These people are already added onto a list of buyers. They have already invested in previous opportunities before, whether it's multi-level marketing, network marketing, affiliate marketing. Maybe, maybe they was an affiliate of ClickBank or something or whatever it is, okay? Maybe they even did drop shipping or they were selling mugs or something like that on Amazon. It doesn't matter what it is that they're doing, okay? Number two, you need to know that this list is an accurate list, okay? What, but what I what do I mean by accurate list? That the listing that you're contacting is accurate, okay? You can go on a Google map search and you can see that it is exactly what it says on your list uh, of leads that you have scraped. Um, when you get that information, uh, it needs to be very, very targeted, okay? You need to have the correct number, the correct email address, of course, the correct name, definitely, okay? You need to... If 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 your uh, uh uh if where you're getting your leads from, um, if possible, it should also have their 
investment capital, how eager they are to start a business. When are they capable? When, when can they start a business? Okay. How much they're willing to invest. These are extremely important when you, okay, when you are looking for those that are interested in a business opportunity. Okay. This has nothing to do with brick and mortar. It has everything to do with those that are searching for a way to supplement their income. All right. It's an impeccable and phenomenal way for you to get your business from nothing to something. OK, from nowhere land to all over the billboards. OK, you want to you want to consistently earn at least at least fifteen hundred to three thousand dollars per week. That should be a goal that you will build to. Not talking about, oh, the next day you're going to start making 500 bucks, 400 bucks, a thousand dollars or two thousand, you know, five thousand, whatever. OK. It's a business, guys. Treat it as a business. Understanding that there's marketing involved. Understanding that sometimes whatever whichever business you're part of, understand that there's coaching calls, okay? There's video chatting, there's uh, 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 phone calls, okay? There's text messages, there's email follow-up, you know, Q&A uh, sessions via email, right? Uh, there's things that you're going to have to do, time you're going to have to set aside for others uh, in order to help them be successful uh, because you have the blueprint, okay? Uh, to success. You know how much money you put in for traffic. You know how much traffic you drive to make consistent sales. You know where you get your leads from. You know what's going on, right? It's your business. You should know. So if you have been putting hundreds of hours into your business, you have been going to seminars, you've been going to coaching sessions, or you've been co making uh, doing coaching sessions, or you know, you've been going to seminars or doing webinars or whatever, doing go to meetings and sharing screens and whatever it is that you're doing. You've been Skype calling and Skype video chatting and whatever, right? You've been putting in the work. You've been doing all of this. You've been up at nights trying to figure out how can I be more effective in my team? How can I get more sales? Uh, 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 what other business opportunity can I join, right? You are the one that's doing this. You're putting in the work. So when you're putting in the work and you get in touch with somebody that's like somewhat of a looky loo and you don't and they don't know if they're ready to go or not, that's fine. That's understandable. Everybody has situations, you know, uh, maybe they're in a financial situation and they uh, just aren't comfortable with investing at that time. Or maybe uh, they uh, don't have uh, any problems financially. They just uh, don't want to invest at the time, whatever the case may be. OK, but. Never get discouraged when somebody tells you no. Never get discouraged when someone tells you no. Never. It's your business. You know that's that that it's legit. There's way too many um 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 uh, way too much proof out here for many different people out in many different business opportunities. Okay. If you did not know, online marketing is a billion dollar industry. You didn't know that, did you? Online marketing is a billion with a B, guys. Screw a million. That's out the door billion dollar industry online marketing guys everybody from up the wazoo all 50 states across nations everybody is doing this guys i don't know what it's going to take to have you hop on the bandwagon and i'm not here to convert and convince you personally it really doesn't matter if you sign up with me or if you sign up with somebody else i'm not in your situation i don't know what you're going through see at the end of the day we have to take charge of our own life we know what we need to do to be successful we know how much time we need to invest. We know what we got to do. We just have to find out what we're passionate about and stick with it, okay? Because consistency is key, guys. Consistency is key. We have to understand that it's not going to be a cakewalk all the time. It's not going to be, uh, 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 you know, day one and I'm making commissions. It takes time sometimes, guys. But it's not going to take a long time, okay? Because you need to get with someone in the hat that has that blue, that blueprint for success that's been doing this for over a year, or two or three years, understanding how this works. So it makes the learning curve a whole heck of a lot smaller for you, okay? So then you get to jump over the the the, the pitfalls <clears throat> and the crap that people like us had to deal with in the beginning of you know the network marketing days, like six and eight years ago, right? So. <coughs> It's great to have a great mentor, but don't let, you know, just don't just stalk the mentor and wait. Once they give you that blue, uh, that blueprint, they tell you what you need to do. OK, you be consistent in doing exactly that. OK, once you get familiar and you start to get commissions and sales and everything and people start opting into your site or whatever, that's when you can go and look for something else and say, you know what, I'm going to test this out. Guys, the best way to know if traffic works is to test it out. 
You're not going to know if you're just sitting on the fence looking at me butt my gums all day. Talk, chatty, chatty, chat, yeah, 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 yeah. I can do this all day, guys. I'm sure I'm probably sure y'all know that. I can talk all day. But if you are not actually going to physically take action and then implement exactly what your mentor is actually telling you exactly specifically to do, then I don't know what to tell you. Click off the video. Yes, I'm talking to you. I don't know what I can do. I like I said in the beginning of the video, I cannot take I cannot convince you anything. There's people that show proof videos, There's people that get checks in the mail. They got this new opportunity called Simple Wealth Creators. And this is guy that's making checks and he's getting all of that. And I was reading the comment, and the guy was like, How do I know that this really works? The guy's showing you money. What are you talking about? He's showing you cash, man. Like the guys are getting, getting thousands of views. This guy's been around for a while and, 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 and whatever. And yet, how do I know it's going to work for you? I understand when people say, how do I know it's going to work for you? See, the problem is, is that you have, the problem is people don't stay on the train long enough. They get off before they're supposed to, okay? They could be right, I mean, they could be a week, they could be a week before a $1,000 commission and then they give up too early and then they probably receive a call and they don't even care about the business anymore. They turn their phone off. So they're not receiving calls anymore. But that could be a potential client of yours. That could be a potential uh, a, a prospect or I don't like that word. But that could be somebody, a, a future business partner that you can build a relationship with and you can teach them. But yet you haven't even been doing your business. You marketed your business. You didn't get nothing in a couple of days. You say, oh, forget it. I don't want to do it anymore. Guys, this is the business. All right. If Bill Gates would have given up, we would not have half the technology that we have today. Okay? If Albert Einstein would have given up, if Tom Ford would have given up, all these people, Mark Cuban would have given up, Russell, uh, 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 what's, the, what's his name? Russell Brunson, I think his name. Russell Simmons. All these people, you know, even Jay Z, when you look at Jay Z, I mean, if people told, if he listened to those people saying no, he would have never had Rockefeller. I mean, it's not, Rockefeller not popular in my area. Rockefeller is not popular as far as a, uh, specific trending it's not trendy but this man still across the world nations okay people are still wearing his brand and people are still making uh, people are still putting money in his pocket because that's his business so what's wrong with you not putting money in your own pocket it's your business why is it not important for you to actually make or supplement your income other than what you're making at your uh, at your job nothing's wrong with having a 40 hour week job Nothing's wrong with putting in that nine to five. Nothing's wrong with that. Nothing is wrong with that. But at the end of the day, you should always have something else, okay? Something else that you can utilize to supplement your income, guys. It's a wonderful savings. A uh, 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 wonderful savings. It's, it's great. It's great to have um, something to save. So imagine you getting paid ten dollars an hour. You get paid every two weeks, okay? So you get paid a, a good. $800 or whatever you say taxes taken out maybe 700 something dollars maybe you get 20% or 50% commissions on top of that once a client come onto the book say you work at a firm or something right and then when you go home you are an online marketer you marketed your business all week and that week every commission that you get is 500 bucks you got 1500 bucks you got three sales on top of what you're making at your job so you can make 500 to 1500 bucks every week on top of what you make at your job you know how amazing that would be God, you're going to be hitting six figures close to. You would make like six grand a month. Okay? So you can build that income while teaching people on the weekends how to market their business. You're building a business. And then potentially within six months to a year or two years or whatever, then you can just, you can make that decision to decide if you want to just, you know, put in your, uh, your two weeks and just say, hey, I'm done. You know, I got my online business, everything set up and I make commissions every day. However, you're going to do that. A lot of you don't have to do that. A lot of you have worked hard for your careers. You went to school. You got your degree. You don't want to give that up, right? You don't want to give that up. You know, if you're working at the the, the job or you know the, you're you're in the niche, the career that you worked hard for, you went to school for, you're not going to want to give that up. But is it taking long to make money because you're going to, going through a lot of studying in school? Yeah, you're going to take it's going to take a while to make some serious money. Okay, all right. So it's just great to supplement your income, guys. So number one, number one. Don't allow for somebody to disrespect you in your business and tell you that what you're doing is not right. Because nobody can tell you what you're doing is wrong. When you are passionate about your products and services that you offer, you know that this is legit. This is a reputable and ver verifiable business. Don't nobody want to hear none of that.
All right. You know, you get people that are going to come on board with you and then you'll never hear nothing from them again. You're going to have people that are going to be looky lose. That's not going to take any action. You're going to have people that's going to take action for a couple of times and then get a couple hundred, a couple thousand dollars and they're going to move on to another business. You're going to have people that's going to stick with this business for the long run. It is what it is. That's what's going to happen. OK. All right. That's what's going to happen. All right. So, guys. I'm going to cut this short because it's already 15, 15 minutes and counting right now. I want to thank you guys for taking the time out to watch this video. Remember, if somebody tells you no, it's always going to be somebody else that tells you yes. Take care, guys.